Hello again. Um, uh, the chip we're looking at here today is one that I had a I had a very interesting time with yesterday. It is the SAA 1064, and it is a chip you can drive four displays. Right now, I only wired two. I just actually finished it. Um, uh, the chip doesn't really tell you which one of the seven segments is A, B, and C, so I had to to play around with it, all the wires to like find out which way is which. Um, but uh, yesterday I could I uh, couldn't get it to run though I, it's a very simple chip to to wire actually has like one component and, and strange of all things is because uh, this chip needs all the all the displays connected so I tr I tried getting it here on my scope um, and I couldn't get that oscillator working until finally today I said well how about if we you know connected display which is unusual usually you get the chip running at least the oscillators running but not in this one if you're a build this one remember you got to hook up the displays to it so finally it works and it's using a uh, I score C so all you really need is two lines to drive the chip um, the the one below th this one's using a pickaxe which is programming basic this one below I programmed in C and I'm still working on it. Um, but uh, this one was this one was done in C and as you can do it as well as in assembly um, and it's pretty neat. Uh, the one back here, as far as displays go, is using um, let me turn the light on. Excuse me, I gotta reach with my left hand. I got up about over here is using uh, one chip to to do to do all the display so it's using a lot of lines it's using you know a lot of lines uh, even if you multiply so it's using a minimum seven or, or eight I haven't counted them this one is using only two lines from your from your microcontroller and this one here is, is uh, is multiplex is using um, I think 10 because uh, th these turn on the thing is scanning and it's turning uh, each digit on individually but it's doing it so fast that you can't tell uh, th the scope and things like I, 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 I made a good deal on it the scope down here uh, as you can see it as uh, a digital digital source scope and is perfectly in great condition these things you know are expensive I got this one for eighty dollars on eBay and uh, the generator I got for twenty dollars and you can see uh, so vary the frequency or the functions so that was a, a pretty good deal to to experiment for a hundred dollars I think I have nearly two thousand dollars worth of equipment so I can recommend to to scan eBay for for equipment regularly. It, they're not there all the time, but a lot of the times they are. I will leave information. Let me turn the lights off again. I will leave information on on how to build uh, this one, and, and, and it, it's going to have it's going to have. It's going to have the floor, but let, let me show you a, a little bit of the wiring on the back here. It is quite painstaking to uh, to uh, to have to wire those little displays with uh, with the wires there, each little wire. So later on, maybe next weekend, I'll do the other two displays, and then I'll build a frequency counter for it. I think we knocked out a digit, but let me turn it on. Uh, I think next weekend I'll build the other couple of digits. Anyhow, if you